coding for the little brains hello my little brainers welcome to your channel coding for the little brains my name is vijita and i'm going to share you the very basics of programming through this channel so are you thinking now that as a kid can i learn programming is it possible yes it is possible according to me if you know how to use a tab or you know if you know how to use a ipad or you know how to drag and drop then you can learn programming as well let's see how that is so today i'm going to introduce you to scratch scratch is a very fun based way of learning programming with scratch scratch helps you to think creatively logically and systematically so let's see how to use scratch and the best thing about scratch is that it is free to use you don't have to pay a single penny to use this to scratch click on your browser type in scratch press enter you will get the search results the first one this is our guy scratch.mit.edu click on that and you will be redirected to the home page of scratch so if you already have a username and password you can lo uh, log into scratch using this option in, and if you don't have a username and password you need to create one mm, the, you can also create programs by clicking on this create button but it's always good to create a username and password so that you can save your work for later use so i'll show you the steps to create a new username and password click on join scratch create a username as per your choice so i'll just create a random thing create a password i'm not going to show that click on next you need to mention which country do you live in so i'll just say united arab emirates click on next you need to mention your date of birth i'm just giving a random thing i'm not going to reveal my age here next click on next select your gender again click on next and here enter your email address and click on create your account so i'm not going to click on this one now because i'm not going to create a new account because already i have got an account so once you click on create your account your account will be created and then you can log in to scratch using the sign in button click on sign in and then click again see now your name will be coming here your username will be coming here now click on create and you will be redirected to the main environment of scratch the environment where we will be working so when you see when you first see this it will looks a bit overwhelming but don't worry this is all very simple so this is the most important part here this guy here a little cat this is called as sprite and in scratch we program the sprite like we can make him move we can make him jump we can make him draw we can change make him change the costumes we can make him cry we can do everything and if you want to add a new sprite you can click on here there are so many options you can choose a sprite you can create it in paint you can upload a new sprite which is you which you have already created i'll click on choose a sprite and see there are so many options already available and you can click on any of the sprite you want i'll go back and here this is the backdrop backdrop means the background of a program where it's happening suppose you want this a uh, little guy to walk in a beach so choose a backdrop you can also upload a new backdrop if you have so i'll select let's make him go to malibu 
he's in malibu now so that's an um that's something you can do with the backdrop and now this is our main part this is our canvas these blocks in scratch how we do programming is we'll drag these draw blocks here and we'll make the sprite do all these things okay so there are so many different blocks available here motion that means we can make him move looks we can change the way he looks we can also make him say something sound events like when the when, when the when the backdrop switches to that is one event here so you can switch the backdrop backdrop and do some programming accordingly when flag click that is when this flag is clicked you want something to happen so i'll just drag this here when flag is clicked i want the cat to cry meow so when flag clicked and the play sound meow until done see it's that easy let's see what's the costume is now this sprite has got two costumes costume one and costume two if you see the legs positioning is different in both the costumes so we can make the sprite walk by using these costumes and we have also have a sound tab this is the sound that we played when the flag was clicked in and you can also choose a sound you already have or you can also do a recording from scratch itself so now let's get this fly do something now my objective is to make the fly make the sprite move and when it touches this edge it should come back and start again so that's my objective so i'll first drag this one when flag clicked and i want the sprite to move so i'll go to motion then drag this one move 10 steps so i'll reduce this to 5 so when flag clicked this sprite will move 5 steps now if you see the sprite is not changing costumes that's why it, the legs are not getting changed so we'll fix that so in order to fix that issue we'll go to looks and click on the next costume so when flag clicked go five steps and switch to the next costume so now when we click on this one we see that the cat is walking but when in a program we cannot keep on clicking this always so how to fix that to fix that we should do this in a loop right so let's go to control and here you can see so many controls over here there's a if condition you can make some decisions based on some events uh, then you can repeat this is our loop so what this repeat will do is when you click the flag whatever you are seeing inside the repeat block will be executed for the number of times you have mentioned here so now i'll say repeat five times what to repeat move five steps and switch to the next costume and again click on flag nothing is happening right do you know why nothing is happening because these two these two blocks are not connected you should always connect the blocks to make it working and i'll drag this to the bottom of when flag clicked and now when flag is clicked see now we can see that the cat is running see now it has reached the it is about to reach the edge so let's see what happens when it reaches the edge see it's not coming back it's just running from that position see it's running from that position so let's see now how to fix that one so for that we should go to sensing 
what should we sense we should sense the edge right so drag this one touching there are two options here touching mouse pointer and touching edge now I have dragged this one let's see if something is happening is there anything happening no why because we are not adding the control to make the decision we should decide we should make the program decide whether it has touched the edge or not so for that here we have the if condition so drag this one and then you see the diamond here not diamond sorry this uh, this shape it's a it's a hexagon actually uh, this one so this is the this is our decision box so drag this one over here so now what we are saying is if if the sprite is touching the edge do something what to do it should either go back to a random position or go back to a specified position so now let's say go back to a random position go to a random position and there also we have random position and mouse pointer two controls are there and then drag this inside the repeat block so what this whole thing is saying when flag is clicked repeat what is inside the repeat block for five times now what to repeat move the sprite by five steps and then change the costume and if the sprite is touching the edge then go to a random position so now let's see what will happen when we click the flag so i will repeat this for 20 times see whenever the sprite is touching the edge it is going back to a random position i'll make this uh, 100 so that we can see the effect see whenever it is touching it is coming back to a random position so that's our first program for today i'll come back with a new video for you next week till then keep exploring and keep learning bye coding for the little brains please share like and subscribe